Miss Amy, hold. Hello. Okay, so we're going to do a quick demo on how to plaster and clay make bags and casts. So you're going to get some clay. You're going to pound it into a sphere. <clears throat> you're going to put that sphere into some sort of container. I'm just going to push it down a bit. It takes up some of that space. No. Like so, the longer you want whatever you're going to make, the higher the amount of clay has to be, the shorter you want to make something, the less clay you'll need in height. I'm going to try to make a set of teeth. So I'm going to get the end of this paintbrush. I'm going to create all of these indentations. And in a minute, this is going to be where my plaster is going to be asked to sit and stay and make these a little bigger. These are big, huge, flat teeth. Like our two front ones. That reminds me of a song. I'm gonna get this too. <coughs> this can make something a little different. Right in. Right in. Okay, we have a couple here prepped. These are tall cylinders of clay that I've just stuck my finger into and then molded around my finger. So once I pour my plaster into this, and it sets, I'll have two plaster fingers. So here's how you mix the plaster. This is a bag of plaster, it's a white powder. You'll find your mixing instructions right here. I quickly read it and it said, one part cold water to two parts plaster. So I'm gonna mix this like I would a recipe in this big, dirty but clean container. I'm gonna pour in one cup of plaster. I'm gonna pour in the water, maybe half the water. I'm gonna start to mix it up. Don't breathe any of this um, dust in. This can't be good in your lungs. And then you're gonna go ahead and just pour in, pour in this. Pour in some more of this. Half. Mix, 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 mix. Get rid of all of those chunks. Don't stray from the recipe. Even if it feels like it's the right consistency, just use all of what the recipe called for. Two parts powder, one part water. Mix, mix, mix. This is going to take you a second. Put all those chunks out. So right now I can feel all these chunks in here. I'm putting them between my fingers and I'm just squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. This is going to take you a couple minutes. You can't skip this step. You cannot rush this. It's a lot like baking. You can't rush it. So I'm making my fingers be a little bit like a beater. They're all kind of spread like this. I'm going to just kind of go like this quickly in my solution. Anywhere I feel a chunk, I'm going to make it a point to just squish it all up. And I'm starting to feel the mixture get kind of airy and fluffy. And eventually I'm going to start to kind of feel it actually change in temperature. It's going to go from cold to warm. And this feels chunk free. So here's the consistency we're looking for. Thick yet pourable. No chunks. Looking for any kind of clothes or specific cakes? And then, just to make this easier to pour into smaller containers, I'm going to pour it into this cup that had the water in it. And I'm just going to go ahead and carefully pour this into each one of these molds. If you get it on the top of the clay, it's not that big of a deal. We're going to probably end up throwing most of this clay away, anyways. I'm going to just cover the top of this. And then, to make sure these are filled, you gotta tap, tap, tap a roux. Extra credit if you know what movie that's from. Tap, tap. You're gonna find all these bubbles coming to the surface, and that means that um, all the plaster is going into the depth. And then once you feel there's no more bubbles kind of coming up, see, now I need a little more plaster in there because it wasn't filled up enough. You have to do this quickly because it starts to settle pretty fast. And what I'm thinking is since the top of this has like a layer on it, it's kind of unnecessary. Just like that. And then we wait. Nothing can be done for the next step until this has settled, so it's going to take about 24 hours. And in 24 hours, you're going to be able to peel the clay off of the plaster. All right. Cut.